Today is our final day of Australian van life, and what a journey it's been so far. From winding roads and wine tastings, to getting locked out and having this difficult shower. To today, waking up in the gorgeous Katoomba in the Blue Mountains, arguably the most beautiful place we've been to in Australia. This is the part of van life we miss from back home. The slow mornings in the sunshine, enjoying each other's company and just taking in the beautiful world around us. I have to say though, the weather in Australia is a bit better than what we had this summer in the UK. Today's definitely a factor 50 kind of day. 26 degrees, it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning. I think it's gonna go up to about 30 today, so I think I'm gonna be outside pretty much all day. Exploring the Katoomba region. Oh yeah. Get your legs out. Ooh. <laughs> but today's activity is actually one that Dylan's booked, like I mentioned yesterday. Um, we tried to figure out a little bit about it yesterday and there seems to be a lot of sort of different transport options essentially that have different viewpoints here in the Katoomba region and luckily for us it's like a 10 minute walk which would be like a couple of minute drive from here. We obviously have to check out of this campsite at 10am which means that we'll drive to sort of the entrance of the, I don't know even know what to call it, activity centre? Yeah. Um, and then I think we're starting by taking like a like a like a line like a view there's bridges there's trains there's all kinds of quirky things involved this is like the biggest cable car i've ever seen whoa oh my god it's actually going right here is that a glass walkway are you going to see down there? I don't know. I don't know. That seems a bit scary. This is the Skyway, right? Yeah. Walk on air on the scenic Skyway's glass floor as you glide between cliff tops above the Jameson Valley at 270 meters. Highest cable car in Australia. Whoa. the smoothest cable car ride we've ever been on. Yeah. Because normally you have to pass over the gun, 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 like the scary things. It didn't have that. So it was just like a big, smooth, electric vehicle almost. Yeah. Wow, look at that. So there's an actual reason why these blue mountains are called blue mountains. It's because they actually look blue. And I have to look up why. So eucalyptus oil droplets are emitted from the forest, then combined with dust particles and water vapor, scattering short wavelength rays of light, which are predominantly blue in color. That's so cool. Yeah, you can kind of see it sort of floating in the air, can't you? Yeah, it's like this film. Wow. This is uh, kind of similar to when we were in Laos and we had those um, mountains. I don't know where, where we were in Laos at the time, but there was those crazy mountains that went on for miles and miles. That's when we went to the um, like the, the lodge, yeah. the little wooden lodge thing. Oh, what was that area called? It was beautiful as well. It was really, really nice. Can you see that there? Yeah. Can. That's the other thing that we're going to be going down. That looks scary because the one we just went on was flat, so it almost felt like you were just driving if you didn't look down. 
but that one is slanted. I wonder what the railway looks like then. I think it's, the railway's fast. Is it? Yeah. Like <laughs> fast, fast? Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Should we go back over and then take the railway down? Yeah. Yeah? Probably a bit safer today. Yeah, I feel like there's more health and safety regulations. Steepest railway in the world. In the world. Top speed of 14 kilometers an hour, he just said. That's I could I could outrun that, I think. Yeah, but it, in this steep of a decline? Oh, yeah. Oh, I would roll down. Oh, yeah. If I rolled down, I'd be faster. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Even sitting in here is Already. very steep. Already, closing up yeah. those doors on the left hand Come side. People, arms, legs, bags, jackets, everything must stay inside the train. It feels really back now, doesn't yeah. it? Alrighty, welcome to the Dinosaur Valley Express. My name is Shannon and I'm the driver at the back of the train taking us down into the Jamison Valley. Please hold on to any loose or valuable items. Any small children? This is the world's steepest railway. That was super fun. I want to ride that again. <laughs> Look at the view now. <laughs> We're now walking through the sort of scenic walkway. So hopefully we'll see some snakes, some no, spiders. No, I just want to see parrots and lizards. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> Maybe some butterflies. <laughs> And then we go back up on that really big uh, cable car. And this is the coal mine that they were coming down to, which they were going down in 1878, and they stopped in 1930. There's 100 kilometers of tunnels in the cliffs. Whoa, there. Oh, whoa. So oh, we're, we're there. We're here. here. And then this is just yeah, tunnels. tunnels. No, Holy thank moly. you. That sounds terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that's actually so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Maybe we have a photo to pose for here. Giant camera. More like a video. So. Yay. <laughs> there we are. If you like nature shots, I can show you a good spot where you can get a great shot. Where? Follow me. Come on. <laughs> oh, VIP access. Oh. Orphan rock up in the sky, through the clearing. It's a good oh. one, a lot of people don't look up there. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Thank right. you. Right, stay there. It's so bright. So this scenic walkway has kind of turned into a dinosaur park yep. with loads of dinosaurs, but I'm reading the signs and none of them actually say that they were from Australia, because that one there is from China oh. and Wyoming in America. Oh. So, or where yeah. they found them anyway. That's probably where they found them, yeah. So. Theoretically, they could have been here. Yeah. All right, let's find this cable car up, yeah. shall we? Yes, yes, yes. And then we've completed it. I think so. There's obviously other walks and things to do. You could probably spend a whole day here. 
it is getting hotter and hotter and we do want to make it back to our next campsite and relax a little bit and really enjoy the motorhome. Shh! All the dinosaurs are making such a ruckus. <laughs> but we want to enjoy the motorhome a little bit more. Have the second part of our barbecue or barbie, as yeah. I should say because we're in Australia, and then we can return it tomorrow. We want to enjoy it, you know? Oh, we need the steam and fan today. Yeah, it's nice. It's so hot. But it's nice, don't complain. No, I'm you not like complaining. It. You like it. Yes. You love it. Definitely not complaining. Maybe we can get an ice cream later to make up for it. Yeah. As we come out the top of the county though, know, straight ahead there is a waterfall that will be Katoomba Falls. It's ever run dry in recorded history. If anyone has been up for Sydney today or drinking Sydney's water supply, been using that water so if it tastes funny you can blame all the cockatoos and backpackers at the right hand side you've got your three sisters they are sacred to the Darug and Gundungara people speculated we have between five to seven out there once upon a time and they're about 14 million years old so not too bad towards the back of the cabin is a large flat top plateau that is Mount Solitary bushfires up here on top of that was engulfed in the plains massive That one. I might go for this one, which is like the same, but the monster cookie. Okay, just these two. Just these. Let's take these back to the motor home, put the AC on, meet them, put him out. Yeah. Pop that on Max. This is now prime time. Crank the aircon a little bit, cool down, eat our maxi, maxi bonds. And then there's actually one more thing that we want to do here in Katoomba before we head back into central Sydney or outskirts of central Sydney, I guess I would call it, where we're staying tonight. This one's got a waffle and sort of like white chocolate, which is right at my street, so. Oh, oh no! Five second rule. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, okay. So it has like the waffle or like the cookie part. I guess this one's a cookie one to hold on to. You don't even have to have the wrapper. You can just hold on to the... Oh. It's gonna melt, surely. Mmm. I like it. Approved. <laughs> maxi bon is maxi bueno. One P meter slash registration. Meter slash registration. I don't know what that means. Oh, there's a meter there. Three dollars for fifteen minutes. So I was thinking it was just We're gonna have to really rush this viewpoint. We only get fifteen minutes. We're now at the Echo Point viewpoint that looks out onto the three sisters, which are these three rocks. And uh, we're here about 14 or 15 million years ago, the guy yeah. was saying earlier. Yeah. Which is crazy. But, ah, God, there's so many flies here. <laughs> and they really get into your ear for some reason. I think we'll have enough time just to go down here, see yeah. it. And then, and then walk then... right back. Our parking is literally 15 minutes. <laughs> and I think we've already used maybe three, four, five of them. So we've got to be quick. And then we're going to have to find somewhere else to park up. Oh, wow, they're so close. So these here, these three points here, are the three sisters and there used to be more but now there's only three left that's really cool yeah didn't he say they used to be sacred or didn't he say they're considered sacred by some people yeah some of the i guess aboriginals yeah maybe the view here is similar to the view we had over there where we were going on that cableway but here it's more sort of uninterrupted look at that Wow, it's actually incredible. This is just like nothing but yeah. eucalyptus trees, I think. All the way as far the eye can see. Okay. It is really cool. Blue skies, sunshine, gorgeous view. 
This has been a really good road trip. We've ticked so many things off the list, that's for sure. Time to head back. Yeah. <laughs> I think they just like you, the flies, you know, because I haven't had any bothering me. Bothering me this whole road trip. Your they just land just on me. smell great. Wow. Lovely, yummy face you have. And they're just like, nah, she's too low down. I don't know, can't reach her. <laughs> Yeah. I got one of the just the normal Bundaberg uh, diet one. Oh yeah. And I also wanted to try the passion fruit flavor. Ooh. That's the last time I'm gonna have to do that for a while. So this is it, our last campsite for now. Yeah. In Australia. Yeah. I didn't think I would like Australia this much. I've been here before, but not properly. Yeah. But it's amazing. It's been incredible, but it's not over yet. Tomorrow we're actually flying to Melbourne. And that's gonna be a whole other video, but I am so excited because I've heard such good things about Melbourne. Yeah. I heard that's very different. Yeah. So, super excited. Mm -hmm. And thanks for coming along, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.